Hey everybody, I'm here with a quick video on Cardi B and Offset. You know, the other day she denied, you know, Cardi B, she gets in the face of the people. She denied that the Atlanta home was facing foreclosure, okay? That they was probably having trouble keeping up with the payments. So although, you know, she denied it, the paperwork does say that she got about 60, well, her and Offset, but it's her strange husband, so I don't know how they're going to work this out. But either way, we'll put it like this. Together, the both of them need to come up with $3 million in about 65 days or they are facing losing that Atlanta mansion. And Offset better find some money. And why am I saying that? Because he's going to need himself a place to live because he can't live with Cardi B no more. Listen, making money moves. Cardi B needs to find $3 million in only 65 days or face losing her Atlanta mansion despite insisting she's not broke. The rapper is divorced her husband Offset and has mortgage issues. Cardi B has to pay $3 million in the next two months to secure the mortgage on her luxury Atlanta mansion, the U.S. Sun can exclusively reveal. The rapper 31 denied rumors on Monday that she and her husband Offset are broke and may lose their Georgia home days before she filed for divorce. Did he spend all her money? I don't know. Listen, the, the mansion is gorgeous, okay? Absolutely beautiful. A now deleted post shared by IC Scoop News on X, formerly Twitter, alleged that the pair has been fighting to make payments on the home and are facing foreclosure. Cardi and Orson own a huge 22,000 22, square foot home that boasts five bedrooms and 11 bathrooms. She hit out at the rumors on X and claimed the couple bought the house in 2019 for $5 million and is now worth $7 million. But the U.S. Sun can reveal that the full extent of the financial situation she and Offset 32 find themselves in, while Cardi has also announced she's pregnant with their third child. Public documents show that they take it out huge mortgages on their Atlanta and New Jersey properties worth $11 million in the past five years. One of the loans for $3 million was only approved in October last year. But the very short-term mortgage was just one year and um, just for one year, and the debt has to be repaid by October 4th, 2024, and just over two months. Now listen. She says she make money on top of money. Um, coming up with that $3 million should be nothing for her. But she's probably thinking to herself, do I really want to save this home? I don't want to live there. Although Cardi um, claims that the pad is now worth $7 million, Zillow estimates the value at $6.5 million. I mean, come on, people. $6.57, it's about the same. Close enough. The on and off couple has the aforementioned $3 million loan. And when they purchased the property, they borrowed $3.575 million from Wells Fargo, which is um, $6.575 million in total. They also own an extravagant nine-bedroom, nine-bath pad in Tenafly, New Jersey. Very nice part of Jersey. Extremely nice. Um, which they bought for $5.85 million in September 2021 and is now worth $6.1 million. All right. I gained a little equity in there. That was immediately saddled with a mortgage um, for $4.3875 with another um, Tennessee lender, First Her um, Horizon Bank. The deals have been done through trust set up by Kim Kardashian's former manager, Lester, and Kim and Cardi's um, current manager, Lou Teller, a controversial figure who used to manage Britney Spears and had been accused of making millions off the star during, their conserv during her conservatorship. So if I had money like that, cash on top of cash. She said she can get a, do a show and get millions from doing one show. There's no way I would mortgage, get a mortgage on my mansion like that. I would just go ahead and pay it off. That, that's me. Because taxes in New Jersey, nasty is an understatement. Probably on that mansion, taxes are probably easily $50,000 um, 50, a year or something crazy like that. The U.S. Sun has contacted Cardi Rep for comment, but did not hear back. Meanwhile, Cardi and Offset have also let other property investments slide. Five years ago, they bought a piece of land and five properties on the same street in Atlanta suburb of Jonesboro for $250,000 in total. 
There was talk the couple were going to put the lots together in order to build their dream home, but it appears they are still yet to make any real real, um, real estate moves. Instead, they racked up multiple tax um, liens worth anything from 200 to 1300 between 2021 and 2022, which were eventually paid up in April last year, and in some cases, only last month. Four months ago, Cardi reportedly told Complex she wasn't worried about money. She said, I made a lot of money. I made a lot of money. I feel like I actually passed almost doing 88 million. I make a lot of money. Cardi B's full response. Cardi B hit back at a report by IC Scoop News on X. The Raptor laughed off the report, Shan. Laughing my A off. You bum bees. Wish. Me and Austin bought that house in 2019 for five million. Now it's worth seven. Check the Atlanta market. And no, we're not selling it. And if I ever sold it, I would just sell my part to Offset since he loves Atlanta. Throwing salt on my home. Hating bad. She followed up with another post which read, Anyways, laughing my effing A off. It's a lot of really um, um reality checks circling around. It seems she's um was still hitting at the topic the following day. She had a video of her property in New Jersey as she showed off the bedroom and backyard writing, good morning from my second home. She also um further addressed the rumors on social media stating, if I want to sell that house today, me and Offset could sell that S in the blink of an eye, but we don't want to sell our house. I close my eyes and I can make money. I might just drop $200,000 on an effing necklace because I can't be. Well, then why don't you just drop the $3 million so you won't even have to be dealing with this information in the media, right? And, and, and save the land home. In April, she also claimed on X, right now I get brand deals for over $5 million for a campaign. I get social media famous in 2014. My first brand deal from Fashion Nova was in 2016 and $200,000. Is it $200 a post? Um, I guess that was back in 2016. You can reach any height, no matter how ghetto or where you come from. Just remember the key is to be patient and be humble. Blessings. Cardi is, um, excitedly shared the news when she and Offset first brought their Atlanta home back in 2019, riding on social media. We got our house. The two have been on and off for seven years, but Cardi first filed for divorce in 2020. According to page six, Cardi filed for divorce from her estranged husband a second time on Wednesday. But a source also told the outlet they'd grown apart. That's what drove her to this decision more than anything else. This is something she wants to do. Cardi, who tied the knot in 2017, is said to be seeking primary custody of their two children, Culture 5 and Wave 2. And I guess, I mean, do you have to add the unborn child in that? Um, as you're going through this divorce or do once you have the baby, if, if the divorce is granted before you have the child, do you have to go back? So here's a timeline of the relationship. The couple had a rocky relationship full of highs and lows throughout the years. February 2017, Cardi introduces her babe all set on Instagram. September 2017, the two get secretly married. October 2017, all set publicly proposes to Cardi. Said so December 2017, also first accused of cheating on Cardi. Yikes, he was cheating back in 2017 right after he proposed to her. Good gosh. <laughs> April 2018, Cardi reveals her pregnancy on SNL. July 2018, the couple welcomes their first child, daughter, Culture. December 2018, Cardi announces split from Offset. That's just even just starting in one year later. January 2019, Cardi and Offset reconcile. December 2019, the two move into their Atlanta, Georgia, uh, and move together in Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. September 2020, Cardi files for divorce. November 2020, divorce is called off. September 2021, the couple welcomes their second child, son, Wade. June 2020, D. Cardi defends Offset against new cheating rumors. December 2023, Cardi slams Offset in, in an Instagram live rant. December 2023, Offset denies Christian Rock cheating rumors. Cardi says she's single. May 2024, Offset showers Cardi with love for Mother's Day. May 2024, Cardi calls her relationship with Offset complicated. Complicated is an understatement. 
And another twist, she also announced she's pregnant with her third child in an Instagram post. With every ending comes a new beginning, she wrote. I'm so grateful to have shared this season with you. You have brought me more um, love, more life, and most of all, renewed my power, reminded me that I can have it all. You reminded me that I never have to choose um, between life, love, and my passion. I love you so much and cannot wait for you um, for you to witness uh, for you to witness what you have helped me accomplish, what you pushed me to do. It is so much easier taking life swift turns and tests lying down, but your brother and your sister has shown me why it's worth um, worth it to push through. Earlier this year, Cardi and Offset featured on the cover of Rolling Stones, and she was asked about their current relationship status. We do love each other. It's not even about love. We're best friends, she told the outlet. And it's like, okay, well, there was a time that I didn't have a best friend or I didn't have a support system. It's not even about how do you leave a partner? How do you stop talking to your best friend? She questioned. Cardi explained their children in her career are her main priorities and admitted she sometimes feels as if her marriage is last. We're from two different worlds, she said, of her and Amigos member. Sometimes I cannot be not that I cannot be a wife. It's just like my career takes my life. What a house, y'all. Good gosh almighty, what a house. Listen, um, and then he has some tax liens totaling, yeah, $1.6 million. So he owes money. Um, Maybe she makes a lot of money. Maybe this she, I, I think she's probably tied all the way around. Maybe she's tired of the money issue. She's tired of the cheating. And it's like, okay, enough is enough. Something got to give. Um, again, I said it before. I wish them well. And I hope she's not having money problems because she's having a third baby. Okay. And maybe her money problem is offset. And her getting rid of him is all is going to be well. And hopefully she has a prenup because if she doesn't, she's probably going to be screwed, especially if he's not good with money. But listen, guys chat with me. I will chat back. Don't forget to hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Um, um, subscribers, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Let me know your thoughts on this situation and I'll see you on the next video.